In this video, let's evaluate the integral of secant x with respect to x. So, my question is i is equal to integral secant x dx. Now, what is secant x? It is nothing but the reciprocal of cos x. But then does it benefit us? If I write it 1 upon cos x, will it benefit us? No, not at all. So, there has to be some other manipulation in order to solve secant x. And if I think I will have to substitute, let me do this with some trick. I manipulate it as i is equal to secant x remains as it is. If I multiply it by something, I have to divide by the same thing. Suppose I multiply by secant x plus tan x. Then I also divide by secant x plus tan x. No issues with it. In mathematics, if you do something to the numerator, you have to do the same thing to the denominator as well. dx also does not go. Now see your substitution. Suppose I write, put secant x plus tan x, that is the denominator equal to t. Now you differentiate it. It becomes nothing but secant x differentiation is secant x tan x plus tan x differentiation is secant square x dx is equal to dt. Now wow, we have something common. It is nothing but secant x is common. Tan x plus secant x inside dx already, dt already. Now if I have this as equation number 1, if I have this as equation number 2, if I have this as equation number 3, you see the 3, the third equation is actually the numerator in the equation number 1. So I can directly put 3 in 1 and so it becomes what? It becomes nothing but i is equal to integral dt upon secant x plus tan x which is t. So it is basically from 2 also. So not only I have used the equation number 3 but also equation number 2. Now what is dt upon t's integration? It is nothing but log mod t plus c. And what was t? t from equation number 2 was secant x plus tan x. So it is nothing but your secant x plus tan x. So log secant x plus tan x plus c is the integral of the given thing that is integral of secant x dx. So that is how you do it and this is the formula that you have to memorize. 